Happy Friday, YouTube. It's New Life for Jen or Jen. And my YouTube name is CNJ1977. I'm here today on the Back to Basics WLS channel to bring you my go to protein foods. That's the question for this week. Um, seen some great videos already this week from people's ideas. A lot of mine are the same. Um, but I will try to give you maybe different ways to try it. So um, we'll start with breakfast. Um, a lot of times I will do Greek yogurt for breakfast. Um, this is almost one of my favorites. It's Carb Master from Kroger. Um, they're only 60 calories and they have 8 protein. And they're really good. Um, not a bad aftertaste. All different flavors. This is white chocolate raspberry. They have banana cream pie. They have many of them. And I know a lot of people had told me that they no longer have a Kroger's in their area. But Kroger's is still big here in the Ohio area. Um, Kroger's now does have a Greek brand of yogurt. This one has 130 calories, 14 grams of protein. So if I'm looking for a little more calories and more protein, then the Greek one's good. Um, this one is strawberry. Um, and what's nice about these, even though it's 140 calories, the carbs are not as great as I've seen with Chobani. The carbs in this one are 14. And I've seen them as high as like 20-something in the Chobani, and that's why I stopped eating those, because the carb count was so high. Um, which you don't have to. You can buy the plain... Um, you know, plain one and add your stuff to it, but that's what I've seen in my journey. Um, Special K, protein. This one has three-fourths of a cup, 100 calories. Um, if you do put it with skim milk, it's 140 calories. And 10 protein without the milk, and then with my skim milk, that adds another 8. So that's 18 protein and 140 calories, so that's not bad. And then you get something kind of crunchy, and you can add bananas or berries or whatever else you want to it. Um, let's see, other breakfast. Um, of course, the good old protein shake. Um, I had a friend that sold Herbalife, and I started buying the protein shakes from her because I really liked the flavor. I am not a shake person, so finding a good flavored shake was important to me when I was doing shakes. Um, this one has 120 calories and 15 grams of protein. So it's about the same ratio you get with the other ones. And the taste to this one is unrenowned to other ones I've tried. The only one that's similar for the chocolate for me is like the J-Rob. And that one's kind of pricey. This is pricey too. <clears throat> um, I'm not, I can't even remember. I've had this now for probably four months because I don't use protein powder a lot. Um, but that's my favorite chocolate brand of protein powder. I'm not a vanilla kind of person, so I do a lot of chocolate. This one I bought while I was in, um, Vegas. This is the Mocha by Click. Um, this one's 120 calories, 15 protein, same kind of thing. This one's not bad. <coughs> um, I actually really like the flavor, but for some reason for me, I have a problem with it in the blender bottle. It gets really, like... I don't know, it doesn't dissolve right for me, and then I, that's one of the reasons why I didn't like protein powder, was due to the fact of it not dissolving, and I've got chunks, and it wasn't me. Um, other breakfast options, this is more of like a weekend thing. I do do egg whites, but I like the egg beaters. For some reason, it's just the whole yellow thing for me. These are 30 calories, 6 protein, and then I usually add, these are like my favorite, these are the hearty sausage crumbles. These are 70 calories, 11 protein for a half a cup. And you can do, you can put them in flat outs and make the little pizzas with this sausage. I mean, this is a very versatile sausage for me. Um, let's see. So, and then of course I'll move on to cheeses because that kind of goes with all of them since I use them with my breakfast. I buy the Kraft Mild Cheddar. It's 80 calories, 7 protein. And that is for a fourth of a cup. And the mozzarella, this is 70 calories, 7 protein. And then I like their string cheese as well, 70 calories, 8 protein. That's kind of like snack or whatever. The, I love these, this one are one of my favorites, the Black Label Real Bacon Pieces. 25 calories and 3 grams of protein for 1 tablespoon. So it's good for adding it to eggs or adding it to your salad. Um, bacon crumbles. Okay, so we're going to kind of transition over into 
lunchtime. Um, I wanted to bring up one other one that I have not tried yet. I am just now researching what to do with it. Um, just looking into more of the green diet and things like that. I don't even know if I'm going to pronounce this right. But as you see, I have not opened it yet. And I ordered this from a place called Nuts Online. It's kind of a green color. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's like a green powder. It's Berlina. Um, it's actually, I think, from like an LG. Um, it's the highest protein count from a non-meat source. 81 calories for 16 protein. So when I can convince my head to have a green smoothie, this is what I'll be putting in there. Um, we'll see. I, I will definitely update you guys and let you know how I like it. It does have 7 carbs in it, but not bad at all. Um, only 2 grams of fat. So maybe going towards the more green diet, this spirulina will come in handy because of how high the protein count is for it. Um, let's see. Another one is, let's see, I'm going to show you guys this just because I use it almost every day. Um, pre or, pre or post workout, I've used it since month four. Um, it is the body effects. Um, this is the storm. This is my backup because I am out of the actual body effects one. There's an effects and the storm. And I like the effect one better. I don't know. I see a better... I don't know. I just feel better when I use the FX one instead of the Storm. But my favorite is the lemonade. I add it to unsweet tea, or I will just add it with water regularly. There is no protein value in this. Um, one scoop has 60 calories, zero fat, 14 carbohydrates, four sugars. Um, so pretty much just for... This one directly says for energy, strength, and pump, so more or less for bodybuilding, that kind of stuff. But I do like the other one better. That one has an appetite suppressant in it. And you can get that at powerperformanceproducts.com. And I know some people said they found it on other channels as well. So, or not other channels, but other resources as like Amazon and places like that. I've only ordered directly off their website since I've started using it. One container lasts me probably maybe two months, maybe like six weeks. And I believe it's like 50 bucks, so it is kind of pricey, but I like it. All right, moving on to lunches. Um, back in the day, which I'm going to start doing again because I want to get back on my protein first sort of motto, I would take more or less chicken breast or turkey breast. The turkey breast has, um, for six slices, it is 50 calories and 9 grams of protein. The chicken breast is the same. 50 calories, 9 grams of protein. And I would take and put um, light mayonnaise and put a pickle and make pickle, you know, like pickle wraps but with lunch meat or with this on there. And I would also put cheese. These are my favorite cheeses. These are Sargento. This is the Colby Jack. This is 50 calories, 5 protein per slice. And then the provolone I like. 50 calories, 5 protein. So the ratios are good on that. Um, other lunch things that I carry all the time. These are what I will take to my work. Um, these are just little cans of chicken. Let's see if I can open them here. Um, and they're good to just have in your... I can't... I'm allergic to fish. So none of my stuff is going to be fish-based. I am devastated by it. I would love to be able to eat fish, but I cannot. So a lot of my stuff is chicken-based because of the fact I'm allergic to all fish. Seafood, shellfish, everything. So, for this little can here is 70 calories and 13 protein. So, a little can of chicken, drain it, um, I'll put a little light mayo in there, sometimes some sweet relish, and put it on crackers. Or sometimes I just eat it like chicken salad without adding the crackers to it, depending on how less carby I want to go that day. And then I also do buy the bigger cans of Tyson, white chunk. Um... These are pretty much the same ratio. Two ounces of this is 60 calories, 13 protein. Um, I'll do bigger things of chicken salad, or sometimes I'll add them to wild grain rice. Um, I do eat rice once in a while. I don't totally knock it out now because there for a while I had to up my calories, so I have incorporated more wild grain rice. So that's my chicken. I have a lot of problems with buying chicken locally. I have tried to buy the regular, I've bought organic, I've bought it from a fresh food market, and for some reason, everywhere I get it from, it's dry. It's very dry, and I 
I just, I don't care for dry chicken. Not even the point that it won't go down. I just don't care for dry chicken. So a lot of times these are the moist, you know, moist chicken. Unfortunately, we do not have Trader Joe's or Whole Foods or any of the wonderful things that everyone else has. So my grocery shopping base is Walmart and Kroger. Um, we live in a very small area. We don't have those big stores. I think the closest one to us is in Cleveland. So you're looking at about an hour and a half drive. So I'm kind of limited on what I can buy. So that's kind of why I'm afraid with the going green thing because you really need to have like a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's close. So, but I will figure it out as I go. Um, let's see, what else do I have here that I didn't show you? Um, pepperoni. I mean, I don't care for the turkey pepperoni. I just do regular pepperoni if I'm going to snack on something. Um, beans. I will do these. Black beans and kidney beans. Um, stats on these are 100 calories, 7 protein. Stats on these are 100 calories, 8 protein. And I'll just make chili with them. Turkey sausage, or, you know, ground turkey with it, or, you know, lean ground meat, either one. Um, at this point, any kind of meats for me go down just fine. Um, snacky kind of foods, if I'm sticking to protein, um, pistachios, um, or the string cheese, or the pepperoni. Um, this is good, too. This is the Laughing Cow. This one's 45 calories, 2 protein. Not the best ratio, but I like the garden vegetable. And you can put that on crackers or whatever. Sometimes I crave something crunchy, sometimes I don't, so it just depends. Sometimes I don't need the crunch and I can go without it. Um, another one I've seen that they just, I haven't even tried this one yet. This is the Philadelphia garden vegetable one. So I don't know how that one will taste. So that's just like a short list of some of the major staples that I use for protein first. Um, I have a lot more stuff that I do just with ground meat and with chicken, um, because I eat a lot of it. I'll do green peppers, stuffed cabbage, um, sometimes I'll add rice, sometimes I don't. A new thing I found that I have put in place of rice sometimes is these. These are chia seeds, um, kind of like a, um, superfood. They're not the best ratio for protein, but it is a superfood and it does work good in like if you're making a soup or if you are making like oatmeal. I'm not an oatmeal person, but I've seen people use this with oatmeal. Um, it is 130 calories for one ounce, which is actually a lot because these little things are little. So I don't even use a whole ounce like per serving. They're only for protein, but they are considered a superfood. And that would be something else that I would try to use more of on a green diet. So those are my go-to protein foods. Those are the basics. Um, really loved everybody's videos so far. If you guys have anything new to share or even whatever it is you want to share, please make a response. And we will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining in. Bye.